Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to quickly show you how to obtain your external and your internal IP address. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to just do a quick Google search. This is going to be for your external IP address. And you can just type in what's my IP. We're going to go to what is my IP right here. Uh, it's actually what is my IP.com. And when you go to that site right there, it's going to easily and quickly show you what your public IP address is, as well as your city, state, and country. This information is provided by your internet service provider. So this would be the public IP address that your ISP would be issuing out, like your Spectrum, your Comcast, your Verizon, those companies who issue out internet. So that's how you get your external IP address. To get your internal IP address, well, it's really simple. You're going to just click on your Windows Start button or your search box. You're going to type in CMD for Command Prompt. And then when you do that, you're going to get a window just like this right here. And what we're going to be typing in is ipconfig. No spaces, just like that. And when you hit Enter... Well, there you go. This is your internal IP address. This is the IPv4 address. This would be the address uh, that is issued out by your router, perhaps in your home or your office. And this is going to be unique for every device on that network. Your default gateway is the IP address of your router. So if you're trying to figure out the IP of your wireless router, so maybe you can get in there and configure it, well, that's what the default gateway is. And uh, that's how you can connect to that. But this first number here is going to be your internal IP address. And uh, that's going to be basically just issued out by the router to every device within your home or office network. So that explains how you get your external and your internal IP address.